guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is a brand new stationery subscription. So this is the Martha Brook London stationery subscription box, which is called the Stationery Lovers Club. So it's just launched. This is the first ever box they've done. So this is for June 2022. They only had a limited number of subscriptions. I bought this myself. I don't have any relationship with the company or anything like that. There's no discounts or anything on this. It literally sold out pretty soon after going on sale. So you can get like a one-off box, you can get a rolling subscription. They are gonna open up some more places, I believe, on the 1st of July. So if you are interested in picking up next month's box, then you should be able to do that on the 1st of July. They do tell you up front as well what that month's design is and what's inside. So you can go and look for that information if you do want to know and if that's gonna kind of impact whether or not you get the box. So anyway, I have picked it up and I'm gonna share it with you now. I'm gonna unbox it and show it to you now. So it comes in a box like this, which helpfully it goes through the letterbox. You don't need to be in when it gets delivered, etc. When you open it up, it says, hello, stationary lover, welcome to the club. Another little perk with this subscription, you get 10% off Martha Brook, everything on the website when you are a member of the club. So that's a nice little extra perk. So it comes wrapped up in tissue paper like this. It was slightly neater when it first arrived, but I've had a little peek, so... I've kind of like put it back together and it's got this cute little sticker, The Stationery Lovers Club by Martha Brooke. So, let's have a look. The idea with this stationery box is it's going to be based on a theme every month. It resells at £19.95 if you get a monthly rolling subscription. If you get like a one-off box, I think it's £21.95. That includes free UK delivery. I believe they'll ship internationally, but it costs extra for shipping. I don't know the exact costings because I haven't sort of looked at that myself. Obviously being in the UK where they send the boxes out from, I don't have to pay for postage. So every month you will get a personalised item. So when you sign up, they ask you which name you would like on there. So if you go by a nickname or something, or I don't know, you want someone else's name on there for any reason, then you can tell them that at checkout. So this month's theme is a kind of floral design. There probably is a name for it. If there is a name, I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember it right now. So there's no kind of leaflet or anything in here to like explain the theme or tell you anything extra, but there is info on the website, like I said, if you do want to see that. So there's a range of products in here. I'll start off with the personalised one. So we get a little notebook this month that says Crystal's Notes and it's kind of stamped there on the front in like gold foiling. So obviously whatever name you have given is the name that would go there. And it's got this lovely kind of gingham design and it just says Martha Brook London on the back. So it is kind of like a thin, small, flexible notebook and it is just stapled as opposed to like stitching or anything. The pages inside are plain. Personally, I would have preferred like dot grid or squares or lines or something just because I find that a little bit easier, not being the neatest of handwriters. It doesn't look like it's got that many pages in. So for your info, it's got 20 pages or 40 if you count in the fact that you can write on both sides. I suppose you'd go with 40, wouldn't you? So it's not the biggest, but it should last you for a little while and it's kind of a nice sort of handbag type size. I don't think they sell any in this size on the website. I will double check, but I don't think they do. So I don't think there's any kind of price comparison. So this is very much exclusive to the box. Then we have got this ruler, which I think I got in my Martha Brook advent calendar, which I also reviewed and I'll put a card here if you do want to see that review. It's a very, very nice piece I like this a lot so it is a gold ruler so it is only 12 centimeters so it's not kind of like 15 centimeters which would be like the normal length of like a small ruler but anyway gorgeous gold one and I love the fact that it has got this kind of clip on it so you can slide it onto this book or whatever else you could even put it in an actual book and use it to kind of keep your place in your book it actually fits maybe that's why it's this size because it actually does fit this book perfectly now i do believe you can buy this on the website not 100 percent sure if you can get any of it online like buy it individually then i will link it underneath and i will put a thing on the screen if i haven't then let's just assume it's exclusive to the subscription next up we have got some pink and gray sticky tabs these are quite cute they're like a little kind of half moon shape almost Almost like a full moon, but then with a little bit cut off. But the nice kind of pastel colours. And obviously they're stuck to the card. I'm just going to get one off so we can kind of see what they're like. Oh, so there we go. So they've just got like a small amount of sticky at the bottom. If you can see 
there how I've stuck it on the page but you could definitely like write something on there if you wanted to kind of keep your place in this or a textbook or whatever you use these kind of things for there's definitely space to do that and there's a nice kind of range of colors and it feels like normal paper so it feels like the kind of paper that you can write on with a normal pen opposed to some of those I've had that are like coated and you have to have to get like a special sharpie or something these look like you should be able to write on them with just like a normal pen then we have got some like little cards which are very cute but not really that usable for me personally I never know what to do with these things so they often kind of get wasted it's a shame but I just don't know what to do with them so there's a range of them there is all along the same theme you could use them as like postcards or maybe put them on a little like notice board or something there's that one then there is this one and on the back of this card it does have how to press flowers so it gives you instructions on how to do that on the back which is a nice touch it's got a little kind of activity you can do then there's a little quote by Monet so they are the little cards and then there is a big art print which is the prettiest in my opinion of all of the cards we've got here it's a little bit bigger but again really nice but I don't have never-ending space to display these sorts of things I'm just gonna give you a bit of a size comparison these are the smaller cards which are more like postcard size and then this is the bigger one so you can just get a bit of an idea and last but not least really like this we have got a little kind of notebook note notepad We've got a little notepad not a notebook a notepad so it says today's plans my list and it's got like a little tick list thing priorities leave until tomorrow so quite like the way it's set out i like the design again with that kind of gingham obviously matches really well with the gingham on the notebook so together nice little sort of duo so yeah my thoughts on the first box i feel like it's missing a pen i feel like if there had been a pen in there that would have kind of just elevated the box a little bit for me because I kind of feel like that's what's missing. Um, could have done without the cards and the art print but that's just me personally. I don't really go for these sorts of things so not quite as exciting to me. I knew what I was getting. I'm not complaining. I'm just sort of giving you my feedback and my thoughts on this particular box in case you're interested. So the kind of standout items for me are these two items like this ruler like I said and the sticky notes are pretty handy as well. So these are the ones I'm going to get like the most use out of. I do think this is cute. I just don't think it's particularly special especially considering that Martha Brook do some really high quality notebooks this kind of feels like a bit of a cheaper version if I'm honest so they say that the boxes are worth 30 pounds I, I mean I guess it's what people are willing to pay for things isn't it for me it doesn't feel like 30 pounds worth of products but then I guess some of that is the art print which is just not something I would normally buy so I've no idea what they're worth but let me know in the comments do you think this box is worth 30 pounds do you think it's worth the 19.95 are you subscribed if so are you excited for this if not are you excited to kind of sign up in the future i am going to stay subscribed for at least a couple of months to sort of see what's coming and like see what future boxes are like i do love stationery it does make me happy when these sorts of things arrive i just don't know yet whether it's sort of one that i'm going to fall in love with as a subscription but we will see like i said martha brook do make some gorgeous pieces so hopefully we will get better quality items and things as we go along if you watch my advent calendar unboxing you'll see that was a little bit of a mixed bag as well so there were some items in there i really liked and then there were other items that felt a little bit meh so it's pretty expensive as a brand as well so i think because of that my expectations are a little bit higher but let me know what you think anyway hopefully you've enjoyed this video like i said it was a really limited number of spots available for the subscription so i did want to share it with you just so that anybody who didn't get to get a box would get to see exactly what was inside and sort of see whether you've you know dodged a bullet or whether you should get the box in the future so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i'd love it if you give it a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing and i'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!